He comes in with this idea about reinventing machining inside of a prison. This has been such an amazing journey. And looking around this shop, we are finally here. The floors are painted, they look perfect. The walls are white. We got our beautiful tables in that were manufactured by inmates. All the simulators are just stacked on the walls. The machines are in place. The inspection room is looking great. We have the break room, we have the tool crib. The tools are here. We have everything that we need right now. It's time to help build up the American workforce from right inside these walls. Today, I look at this incredible experience. You know, two years of my life building this school, coming up to the ribbon cutting ceremony. It was just an absolute humbling experience. It was the greatest thing that I'd ever been a part of, and I'm so proud of it. And the best part, this entire journey, this entire show, it all starts now. Manufacturing, we've lost all our jobs to other countries, right? There's a big push to bring those jobs back, but we don't have the workforce. So people got to understand that these machines, that's the ticket to getting out and actually buying a house. Take care of your kids. Unfortunately, a lot of our vocational programs, we end up teaching old school. It's a result of the resources we have and who's available to teach. This is teaching tomorrow's school. Most people think of prison as simply a place where we incarcerate inmates, but our primary mission is to give inmates tools to lead a more constructive life when they leave. Carlos over here, <laughs> like, programming, programming, making it happen. Thank you, man, it was a great day. Boom! That's the beginning, right? man. So I'm real excited about today with the, the grand opening and all. And the process has been uh, very unique, challenging, sometimes difficult, but what I'm learning is, is that if I just continue to strive and put forth the effort, I, I can pretty much uh, accomplish anything I put my heart and mind to. This day, we can see all this hard work pay off. I'm excited. This is where we needed to be. This is the warden, Ron Davis. This is when I first came in and he's like, who is this guy? What like, what's he going to do in there? But he actually said yes. And I said, heck yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. The end result is, how is this going to impact guys getting out? For me, it was kind of a no brainer. Yeah. You know, I mean, this kind of partnership, let's do it. So we're excited. You got it. Thanks. Nick. Great to meet you.
going above and beyond what's in your job description, you took the initiative to figure out how can you fix the machine shops in the state of California? And, and you went and knocked on Titan's door and it started this whole process. This big guy and uh, this black shirt and big truck drove up onto the ground of San Quentin and who is this dude? <laughs> and, and he comes in with this idea about reinventing machining inside of a prison. We hope and we believe and we, I think we know it in our gut that it's gonna be transformative for you know, guys who are inside these walls. It's, it's extraordinary, it's an honor to be in a place at a time where you're part of that, where you're part of changing people's lives. In life, when you get out, you're gonna have dreams, you're gonna have aspirations, and there's gonna be people that don't have the same dreams. And they're gonna come from the side, and they're gonna come, and they're gonna say things, just like building anything. And this is a valuable experience. Because when you have that goal, you need to walk forward and you can't let anything get in the way. This is what San Quentin's about. We provide opportunity, that's really what it comes down to. A program like this gives you the skills to succeed when you get out. I got guys who've never been on the internet before, never been on a computer before, and they're programming, and all these guys are living proof that it can be done. And I hope that each one of you guys that are in this program, that have been associated with the program, that you guys will get out, you live honorable, good lives, and understand that there's going to be things that are going to come against you. Look at the goal like we did here and make something of your lives, because that's what it's about. Boom. Thank you. Machine shop, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, brother. <laughs> we get Thank you. Thank you, brother. Right on, man. Thanks for all your help, man. What a great accomplishment. The A team pulled through again. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks for all your hard work. Of course, man. It's possible to go out there and be successful even though you have a prison background. Before I came to prison, I couldn't read. And I was too ashamed to tell anybody. I had to teach them, I taught myself while I was in prison. And now I got my GED and I'm going to college. You know, each and every one of us can see ourselves walking in footsteps, you know, like Titan. Um, I, I consider him a friend, and this is somebody that's coming in and really wants to show how much he wants to help. Every time he's in, he's like, hey, I made it. You guys can make it. And he's, he always reminds us that if I can make it, you can make it. And, and, and he, he's like giving us the blueprint, like, here, this is, this is what I do. And it clicked, like, yeah, of course I could do it too. Have this kind of person like Titan Company give me hope, you no, know, inspire me. You know. I see a person, you know, a very good person. Being in the shop gives me hope. You know, it makes me realize that someone actually cares about us. I can get out, and I can be a better man. When I get out, I can't wait to hold my granddaughter in my arms. I can go to the parks and play, and I can take her by the ice cream parlor to enjoy some ice cream. How many guys get the opportunity inside a prison to be a part of something this big? And to, at the end, get to step back and look at the men who are now in here machining and taking advantage of something that I was part of building is the ultimate part for me. This is one of the keys for me, this right here, this class. I'm glad to be a part of the first potentially graduating class to, to be involved in this. So I'm gonna be successful and I'm gonna help a lot of people. I'm gonna pay back as much as I can pay back for I leave this earth.
When I used to walk by this place, it was, it almost had like an eerie feeling because it was dark. It didn't have life. I walked in here today and I see men on their laptops and they're creating. Having something to look forward to every single day, I think motivates someone for change. And I'm a changed person. The hope will change your life. The belief that you can achieve something greater than what you are in your circumstances and in your moment in life can change everything. And you know, when I lost that, when I lost that ability to, to think that I had hope, this rejuvenated it. And the opportunity that Titan provided in this machine shop. I know I'm not a student and I'm not learning the curriculum, but I learned along the way. And I'm, I'm watching guys build parts. I'm watching guys change their lives and they have hope. And hope is everything. Hope is what gets you where you want to go. Hope is an idea that you can be successful. You can achieve something greater. The CNC shop gives you hope. It gives me hope. Yeah!